up to the guy's fishing. Good morning guys, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to another episode of the Ghost Fishing. Um, it's dark at the moment. I'm just out here waiting for the sun to rise a bit. If you can hear the background, then you know it's back to Rocks 101. Um, just sitting out here in the dark ponder and actually the swell seems a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm not gonna go in and cast early, I can't see. I can hear a few noises in the background here too. Eh? I think there's a few quagmires getting around. Um, not sure what they are, probably kangaroos or something. Anyway, hopefully the sun rises soon and we get into some serious action. See you there. I'm actually going to have a cast. It, it was only a set, but there's massive lulls between the sets which allow me to get in and out of there without um, hopefully copping too much but yeah back on par with that hollow belly again um, I'm gonna put some scent straight on this basically last time they just picked up the scent straight away so I'm just gonna go for it today that gulp love that stuff Put a big smear down there. Rub it all in. Oh no, there goes the lid. Bit of flavour. Gonna do a rock off out to another spot. Just heaps of bait going on. And Keep moving because those tailor are chewing up me plastic. To another spot hopefully. Haven't found anything yet but tailor. No way. Look at that. It's a massive sea snake. And he's well on alive, that's for sure. Woo! Look at that. That's so sick. I haven't seen one of these fellas for a while. Do you know how venomous these things are? Last time I saw one of these was at the Gulf when I was working on a prawn trawler. I'm gonna try to get him back in the water and see how he goes. Whatever you do, if you have no experience with these animals, leave them be, don't touch them. Um, I dealt with hundreds of these on the Gulf, so they're, uh, they're okay, they're pretty slow animals, but if you've never touched this, do not touch them because if one of these guys bites you, that's the end of you. Like I said, if you've never experienced snakes or been around them, 
do not ever touch them unless you know what you're doing. Um, highly venomous creature. Um, I grew up in the bush, I'm a proper bush rat. Um, this is what I used to do as a kid growing up, growing up in the bush. So I have a lot of experience with these animals. Birds are just going to pack the shit out of her. There he goes, he knows how to move in the water. That's how he knows how to move. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Woohoo! Still out there, still going. Swimming out. It's supposed to be zoo fishing, but I'm too entertained by this beautiful snake. She's swimming back out to sea. She's gonna wash my hands and stuff in case there's any venom or anything like that. That may have been on a stick. Touch your mouth or something like that afterwards and you know about it. Alright. Get out. Let's go try and find a dewey. Well, um, I'm gonna run back over there because the old fella left some squid on the rocks. And right here I found a sinker. Let's see if it's got a hole for it. And um, I'm going to try and uh, put some squid on and see if I can catch anything. Proper scavenger. So I should be the water rat. No, the birds must have got it. Oh, there's my bragmatic hand. Oh, there. That's sick. There's a bit of squid that someone last night must have left here. With another sinker. Which is bonus. And... Proper scavenger. And... I left my brag mat here. Luckily I did come back. Oh, phew. Let's go try and catch something on this squid. Alright, first thing I see if we've got a hook here that's not massive. I thought I did that one. Let's see it. I got a little hook, a little 3 I think it is. But I'm just going to clean out the hole with the tip of the hook. It's got a blockage there. Hopefully the line will get through that. Where's the sinker? I'll save that one for next time. Okay. Get this guy in. Get him in there. Okay, we're using a tiny little pea sinker. Get it in. Oh, 
all clean out 101. Yes, we got through. Now I'm going to chuck this little hook on. And I'm just going to cut the squid up in long little strips. And um, let it flap around like a... Try and make it look like a little bait fish. Got me knife. So our squid down here. Just gonna cut up here. Yum. It's fresh. Someone used it last night, so I'm not too worried about it on my hand. Just gonna cut a strip off. Just like that, just a nice strip. Just hook it there and there and let that dangle kind of like a squidgy. A bit more flavor and uh, see what we can catch. Just rig that up. Just like that, and we'll get out there. That's some hits, Dad. Oh, We're getting a few hits. Hoping it's not those mother and mother fish. Size of this brim. <laughs> that is an absolute horse of a brim. What the? Well, I wasn't doing too well on the lures, and I found some bait, and I chucked this out. This thing is that thick. It's like a silver snapper, that one. Like, look at the head on him. Mouth. That thing is a monster. It's pretty stoked. So yeah, that's why I use bait as well. I'm not, I'm not someone that's against using any methods because you get no fish sometimes and then this will save you. But I'm just thankful that that guy left his squid behind and I was able to scavenge up a sinker and a hook. That's so good. Swallowed that way down. Unfortunately, he has swallowed the hook way down in his belly. I can't get it out. Um, feel bad, but I'm gonna do the right thing. And just, he's nearly 40. He's a solid fish. But unfortunately, he's gonna have to feed my kids because there's no way I'm gonna get that out without hurting him. He'll die if I chuck him back in. Thanks again for watching another episode of the Ghost Fishing Guys, I really appreciate it. Um, episode, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, no jewies today, but I got a sea snake, which was sick, and also a big brim on some squid that I found that I'm going to give to my kids for lunch. Um, anyway, enjoy your night or day wherever you are around the world, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. And now for the fitness part, walking home. Um, I guess it's really good for you to do big walks like that when the days that you can. 
good cardio, good for the heart. Anyway, my mission's only just started. I'll see you.